That is the face <laughs> of the morning. What a sweetheart. We are back. It's 813. Can't wait to tell you this story, a Today exclusive. It's about a Florida couple who for years dreamed of starting a family and ended up adopting a baby, but it happened in the most unexpected way. We are going to talk to them in just a moment, but first, the incredible story of how this little bundle of joy came into their lives. There you go. Meet baby Zoe, Vincent and Katie's precious bundle of joy. A sweet little girl they call their own miracle. It's a gift from God is all it is. There's nothing else to explain it. Nearly six months ago, Vincent showed up for work on a day that would change his life forever. He's a firefighter in Ocala, Florida, and was pulling his regular 24-hour shift. At 2 a.m., an alarm went off. He recognized the sound immediately. A newborn had been placed at his station's Safe Haven Baby Box, a device that allows a mother in crisis to safely and anonymously surrender a child. Vincent said the moment he opened that box, his whole world changed. I opened the box and <laughs> there she is. I picked her up, she wasn't crying. As soon as we locked eyes, that was it. I was in love with her. Vincent's training kicked in. Per Ocala Fire and Rescue Standards, he helped deliver the baby to the local hospital. He handed her over to the medical staff along with a special note. I wrote on the note, you know, hello, my name is Vince. I've been working for the fire department for the past eight years. Me and my wife have been trying to have a family for almost a decade now. And if given the opportunity, we would like to adopt this baby. Vincent and his wife Katie first met in the Navy and got married in 2016. For years, they struggled with infertility. We just wanted to be parents and be able to care for a child. So when he said it was a baby dropped off in the baby box, I mean, my head started spinning. The couple was already registered to adopt in the state of Florida. Two days later, they were able to take the baby home from the hospital. I picked her up and I looked at her. She looked at me and she smiled. <laughs> and that's when I knew that I was in love and um, that this was my daughter. From this point on, you are her legal parents. Then in April, the adoption was finalized. Our family was complete. For us to not have to worry and for her to be our daughter legally <laughs> was, was amazing. Zoe's parents say their daughter is perfect and already full of personality. She is the happiest baby. She's really nosy though. She does like to see what's going on all times. The couple has not been in contact with Zoe's birth mom, but wants her to know that Zoe is loved beyond words. The birth moms are heroes too. We needed each other in her moment of crisis and the way that we were able to help each other was through that baby box. A beautiful blessing, well worth the wait. Never in my wildest dreams would I have ever thought that I would <laughs> be a dad to a baby, um, let alone a baby girl. We never want to take her for granted. We want to be the best parents we could be for her. And Vincent and Katie are here with beautiful little Zoe. Um, you guys, families are formed in the most unexpected ways. You never know what when one day is going to change your whole lives. Yes. Will you describe just the moment when you knew when you knew that your family was going to be a family of three? I think it was probably the the day we finalized our adoption um, because. You know, of course, before we finalize, anything can happen, and um, we've experienced that in the past. So when that judge said, you guys are a family, um, we kind of, afterwards, we looked at each other and we're like, we're a family. <laughs> Holy guacamole, we're a family. Um, so that was easily the best day of our lives, and that's when we really knew, like, we were a family. It's so amazing. I mean, first of all, this is just an extraordinary little baby. She, you can just see yeah. every. She's a truly special little baby. Yes, you, Zoe, we're talking about you. Vince, when you locked eyes with her, yes. I mean, you, we see it in the picture yeah. there. You're yes. holding her. Yes. You two are locking eyes. Yes. I mean, it feels... Like divine destiny. It, it definitely was. I mean, God definitely put her in our lives and, you know, gave us the opportunity to adopt her. And, and uh, I mean, even now, you know, when she's up at night and I feed her, I kind of keep her up a little longer than I should <laughs> just, so we can lay, just so I can rock her and just look at each other and just yeah. we stare at each other all the time. I mean, 
It's probably one of my favorite things to do is just watch her and look at her while she looks at me back. Just to talk about how badly you guys wanted a child. You tried for years. You signed up with adoption agencies. You had your home checked out. You were on foster care list. You were doing all the things. Was there any time there where you thought, like, I wonder if this isn't meant to be? No, no one's coming knocking. Yes. Uh, we oftentimes we would feel that way. Um, and we kind of would get really discouraged. And then, you know, We'd sit down and have a conversation like, our, you know, we know we want a family, but is this the way that we're going to be able to have our family? Mm -hmm. um, so, and then we're like, well, let's just try a little bit more. Let's just try a little bit longer. Can we hold Zoe? Of course of you course. can. Oh, okay, good. I'm glad you said yes, because we were just going to grab her anyway. <laughs> Hello, boo, boo Hello, good girl. Thank you can girl. see everybody. You know, one of the things I think is so touching also about your story, and one of the reasons you're coming here is to say thank you to the ba the birth mom and to let her know this sweet baby girl is so loved. Yes. yes, yes. I mean, and that was our only reason for doing any of this was to let her know that her daughter's taken care of and that, you know, we love her and that she will be cared for for the rest of her life. The, the birth mothers are real heroes and they do the most generous thing in the world. Yes. And yes. that's by giving you what is now a, a beautiful, beautiful family. Um, we've got our this pal Al. Baby. Our <laughs> pal Al wants to come in and bring oh, oh my goodness. Oh, thank you guys. Oh, thank you so much. There you go. Oh, Hi, Zoe. Something for your room, sweet girl. A little something. Wow. Well, Look at that one. Oh. Oh. Vince and Katie, I mean, this was meant to be. Mm. I'm yes. so glad for you. Mm -hmm. And just holding this baby, I can see why you never wanted to let her go. <laughs> yes, exactly. I will give her back. <laughs> Eventually. 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 But yes. she is a just a wow. bundle of love. Mm. Yes. Beautiful. Yes. Thank so you. glad you thank found you each other. Yes, thank, thank you. you. All right. Oh, she's such a curious person. Right? Look at this. Really she's she's, she's so amazing. Good. You might have oh, you might have lost she's her. I, mean, <laughs> I love you, Zoe. We say it all the time. She's perfect. She and you guys are dressed perfect. perfectly. Too. We are. Yes, well, so yeah. if, if she wants to to crazy aunties at the Today Show, here we are. We are waiting. We're oh, available. We are. All right. Thank you so much. Yeah. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific, on our streaming channel Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com/allday or click the link right here.